Hello everyone, today I wanted to make a quick video explaining how to use selection boxes and selection spheres in your Roblox games and your Roblox models and things like that. All the stuff you'd make in Roblox, you can add this to it. Well, I'm guessing most stuff. So what you want to do is basically add something to... Let's start with a part and we'll add a selection box and you'll notice right away that this doesn't do anything and that's because you need to change the Adorni I don't know if that's how you pronounce it actually <laughs> but yeah and once you do that you will see that it changes and now with that you'll see that it's doing that so I, I don't exactly know what surface transparency does I guess that makes it so if surface transparency is one which is the default, then the part has its normal color. If it's zero, then it seems to just take over and be sort of a, it does that, I guess. And if you put it on 0.5, then the part color is sort of in between the gray and the dark blue. So I'm gonna set that back to the default, which is one. And we can also change the transparency. So if I go 0.5, you'll see that this outline has a bit of transparency change. Honestly, this doesn't look that good, so I would recommend always keeping it at zero for whatever you're doing because there's like a bunch of overlap and it really should just be one union, but for some reason it's not, so that happens, which is sort of annoying. So yeah, as long as you have the Adorni set, it should... Um, set to whatever you want it to do, it should work. And then I'm going to add a selection sphere and also show you what that looks like. So this one's a little different. And by the way, this um, selection box, I'm clicking on it, is just a normal Roblox Studio thing. So, yeah, now that we have this, you might be able to see in here if I make... Oh, wait, no, I didn't actually set this. Yeah, alright. So I'm going to set that to the part, and you'll see you have this sphere... That's sort of in the middle of the part and it just looks like a sphere and yeah there you go and basically what this does is if the surface transparency is zero doesn't seem to actually change that much for a sphere which is weird but all right i'm guessing the transparency will look better on this yeah it's it, it's probably just one part although it does have those pretty jagged edges which is sort of weird. And I honestly don't see myself using these, but I just wanted to show off how to use them. Because at this point, they're sort of old, and they don't look good. I mean, you can literally just zoom up on that, and look at that, that doesn't look that good. But I just wanted to show it off. And next, we're going to get into uploading, or getting stuff from the toolbox. So let's get Among Us meme guy in here. Um, just delete the scripts to be safe. And now that we've done that, what I'm going to do is add a selection box here and then set it so it's right there. And you'll see it has an outline. Now keep in mind, you can see that this obviously doesn't outline like exactly how it is. Like, for example, it doesn't go right up to... Um, the Among Us skin. <laughs> such a weird thing. But yeah, it, it sort of gets the outline box around it of all this stuff, like you do, like what you'd see if you were selecting something in Studio. And then I'll also show you Selection Sphere on a mesh part. So Selection Sphere, Selection Sphere, there we go. Now that we got this in here, I'll do that. It sort of has this circle, and it seems to have a hole in it. I don't know exactly why that is. I'm sure there's a reason, but yeah, it's it's doing that. It's like a big donut. He's eating a donut, I guess. So incredible. And then let's go over here and get a crashed helicopter, and we'll see if this works, because I honestly don't know if this will work with models. So let's test it out. Selection box. And then I'll set that 
to the model. And it seems it does work. It goes and gets the outline of the model and sort of does that. And I think the sphere is going to look interesting on this one. So let me do selection sphere and boom. Now this isn't, uh, I wouldn't really call this a sphere. This is more like a hollowed out circle. I don't know what they're talking about. Also keep in mind the selection sphere seems to move with your camera. So yeah, you can see that. And yeah, that was, that's pretty much the entire video. I just wanted to show off selection box and selection sphere. So you can sort of select your things. You could do this in your game. If for example, you wanted like a mining, if you're like mining a block or something. So if you have like a mining simulator or something like that, then you might want to have an outline around it to say your mouse is hovering over it, you know, or something like that. And yeah, with that, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as turning on post notifications to get notified when I upload a new video. And most of my videos are scripting videos, so if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing, so you will see more of those. Thank you, and goodbye.